Well, with Valentine's Day next week, it can be a little sour for people whose loved ones have passed. Fox Science Cornhogger went to Hutchinson to see how a growing operation is turning it sweet again. Jim Waldron's wife Sandy died in 2019, 51 years into their marriage. So when Valentine's Day rolled around four years later, the widower wilted with sadness. She died in, in, in February, and of course I was kind of down and out, feeling sorry for myself. Waldron says he tried to block it out, but his mood only improved when an unexpected visitor made a colorful delivery of flowers and candy and handmade knickknacks. I tried to be not emotional, but once she left, then I got my recliner and I just lost it. I mean, it was just what a, what a nice angel. Waldron was one of 50 widows and widowers to get special deliveries in the first year of Hutchinson's Valentine's Day Widow Outreach. I call it a God wink. Kayleen Jensen heard about the original project in North Carolina and felt compelled to bring it to Minnesota. Sometimes Valentine's Day is just hard for people. And I think to be reminded that you're loved and cared about even if your spouse is gone, um, it's just so wonderful a gift that we can give them that day. The surprise starts with nominations from friends or family members. Tanya Vatsik quietly submitted her mother-in-law's story last year. Mary Kay Vatsik lost her husband Virgil in 2021. His funeral was on Valentine's Day. We kind of knew that was going to be tough all around. Volunteers Tom and Carlene Ulrich walked up to Mary Kay's door in the early evening. You kind of think, what are they peddling? <laughs> what are they going to try to sell me? So no, I had no idea, but what a wonderful surprise. To deliver those flowers in that bag and just to see her and her face and, and shed tears. I mean, just to be there and hug, shed tears, share memories. Tears can turn to a smile. You start thinking of the good times you had together and kind of makes it a little bit easier. Jensen is expanding the project to 125 recipients this year. Volunteers have stepped up to make deliveries. People in businesses around town are pitching in with gifts. And a GoFundMe page is nearing its fundraising goal. All of which means Valentine's Day will be a little warmer for a lot of folks who might otherwise feel their hearts frozen over. In Hutchinson, Corin Hoggard, Fox 9. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it? such a sweet idea. Mm -hmm. And think about all those people you know in your life yeah. who might be needing yeah. just some extra TLC this Valentine's Day. There you go. Well, lucky.